Hey guys, it's Paul. I want to show you quickly. I've had uh, a video about Wheelio where I showed you how it worked, but I'll show you how to install it. Having at the time, I didn't have a um, a Shopify store to be able to show you how to in to install it, but now I do. I don't know if it's going to show up here. If I go to there, you go. So it's this. As it as you go to exit a page, it comes up with a spin to win. So if I do a test, uh, put my email in. So it's a good way to get emails from people to be able to send newsletters out to them, and a good way to get more sales. So a spin five percent off, right? So now it's going to tell me this is my Shopify code. Continue and use discount for. Um, buying this right so it's what's this sixty dollars if i go to the checkout and put in that code it should get me five percent off right discount two pound 98 right so i just found that a really cool way of getting people's names i got a really cool email uh, lead magnet but also make more sales because you're giving a discount you're giving a 24-hour discount so now that I do have a, a, a Shopify store, I'm going to install Wheelio and show you the back end of it. So what I'm going to do is go to admin. Should be already logged in. Go to apps. Visit Shopify app store. I'll put a link direct to this and then type in Wheelio, right? Wheelio. So it's this one, fourteen ninety two a month. Like that just seems to have gone up. Actually, I'm pretty sure it was like eight dollars last month. But that's how it happens, right? So all I do is I install it. So I'm going to put get. I'm going to get a free trial. Uh, you're about to install Wheelio. It's going to manage. So yes. So I don't have to pay for fourteen days. I could play with it. I probably won't have it on my store uh, because. My markup on my t-shirts and stuff is not great, and you know I don't really justify fifteen dollars a month. But if you're selling things uh, at high ticket prices or or a good markup, then I would definitely recommend this. Uh, and also, my training isn't purchased through the Shopify store; it's through the um, it's through it's through Teachable. But I'll explain that in a minute. Oh, I need to help probably your website. I we have new treat for you christmas right so yeah whatever so it's going to show up here event slices slices your small logo your shopping your shop's logo you're going to add the information and what's going to happen here so you're going to enable wheelio preview wheelio on my site so how does it look at a minute Uh, here it comes so Paul's happy me special bonus unlocked so it just says coupon name too it just it doesn't say exactly what they're gonna get so you have to go in and set up you can set the color in and the logos and stuff like that um, and then set up what these coupons are going to be right so campaigns is a pet in a pro version analytics is pro custom fields is in a pro version I'm not in pro trial Please enter your email. Please enter your name. Okay, so so that's if you want extra fields within that rather than just an email address and a name, I guess. So where do I go to change it? Branding. So 380 by... I haven't probably got... Um, I probably haven't got a logo that size, but let me just bang something in to see what happens. I'm not sure that one won't be far off. A small logo... So we'll look for a happy me H. Where's happy me? I've got a happy me small. That one. See that one? Does that one work? Uh, title. So we wanted to show title here. You have a chance to win a nice fat. You can spin. So if you have got this, you have a chance to win a nice big fat. Store name. So what's that one say? So Paul Nicholson. I might just, I could probably change this right. Paul Nicholson. Happy me philosophy store. When you spin, I might leave that. The little break puts the gap in there for you. So you'll see 
there's a, there's a gap, you have a chance, then there's the break code. And if I can refresh that and if it'll work, because it may. Yeah, so Paul Nichols snapping me. That didn't change anything, did it yet? But there's a logo in the middle, there's a logo at the top. Oh, so background colour, so I'd like a little bit more of a darker blue. I will have to remember what actual blue it is. Font colour, I might leave white. Colour wheel, don't know what that means. Wheel colour hue, you could change colours. So here down here is the, um, is, is the coupons that you're going to be dishing out depending on what you're giving. So you could actually have a free product or a coupon. So you might put free product, uh, you're all to a free product. So you would have to put a link to the product. So I'll leave it as coupon, 10% off. Gravity. Gravity means how likely it is that this item will be hit. Probability for an item is calculated as items gravity divided by sum of gravities of all items. Okay, so you set how often this is going to hit, right? There's a little code. Right? E.g. 10 divided by 10 plus 20 plus 30 plus 0 times 100 equals 17%. So I'm guessing as you change it, it will automatically change the gravity. So all you need to know is if this is, you know, if, ah, if this is... 50% off then you don't want to leave it too high do you? you want to leave it so it doesn't show up all the time so that's let's just save it and preview it right so it's on exit intent right so here's the 50% off so I do a test at pauldickelson.com Obviously, I haven't worked on it enough to give you the full... Um, oh, I was close. So, I, I don't think it ever says no look. Uh, don't forget to use this coupon code as you check your discount code is, right? So, you would have to go to coupons. Where you go? Products. Uh, collections. Discounts, right? Sorry. Coupons. Uh, 50 off discount percentage is fixed amount no it's not it's a percentage and 50 right so save and I'll do another one for 20% off 20 off percentage 20% save entire order you can change it you can obviously change the um, the percentages or what what they're allowed to use it on so I go back to wheelio I actually thought that that was um, an automatically generated coupon but maybe it's not what was it 50 off coupon 20 percent off um what was that 20 off so then i could do again coupon uh four can be 20 off 20 percent off um 20 off and then grab it this up a bit i don't know 60 maybe 30. i guess these have all got to add up to 100 then they probably what's that 40 50 six that's, that's 60 80 90 well this this is the percentage will add up to 100 i guess um so we could put in here free um training change it to a free product edit details product url so we can put up picture um, we can go let's go to a free I think I do have some free training so training 
some of my stuff's free. So this free bit here, could you say this is free? Pretend it's actually $500 like it says there. Go free URL, product picture. So again, let's just grab a square box. Maybe that one. Don't know if that'll work. Save. Preview it. Here comes the wheel. So we've got 50% off. We've got free training. Test one at paulnicholson.com. Free training. <laughs> There you go, there's the logo, this little image you have won, so take it. So that would take you to a free product that you could do. You could have it hidden in the back saying this is a free ebook or a free whatever it might be. So that's cool that that worked. Where we go, let's go back. So my fully bought coupon for it would be like 10% off. 10 off this might be um, a free call or something you know for me because I do IT tech stuff maybe a free call and then I would have a product that would be um, free call to Paul or something right which is mail to Paul I'm just going to leave that as a free call coupon we'll put this as 10% off Right. So you can see I, I don't know exactly how to do it, but you're getting, you're getting the gist of it's easy to set up. It's easy to say this one. Um, losing, no, losing. I don't know what this bit is here. Losing, no, losing, sorry. Oh, so every, every gap there's a lose, right? So if, if you wanted never to give 50% off, so you could put here... So you could put, uh, you could make this one a hundred percent off. You know, you could call it a, f uh, yeah, hundred percent off. The cut, the coupon wouldn't matter because you would just make it a zero, where they could never win. So it's a little bit brutal doing that, but you might go twenty percent, twenty, twenty, twenty. So everything's a a twenty percent chance of winning, except for that. Um, that 100% off, which you're going to say is never allowed. Enable coupon code bar and countdown. So you're going to give them a certain amount of time to use the coupon. So you can say set here uh, 15, no, is that 15 minutes? Is that 15 hours? Where do you want it to show? Leave it at the bottom. Enable progress bar. Show on desktop computers uh, on users leave uh, intent. Or you can do it after 15 seconds on a page. Show on tablets on users leaving 10 or again on 15 seconds in. Show pull out tab. Tab icon. A small icon tab that... Oh yeah, so this is this, this will put a little button on the side of the screen. So let me turn that on. Discount. Uh, do not show William to the same visitor for many days. So you can turn this off so that the cookie says... If this person comes every day, don't show them. Um, don't show them it every single day. Don't show them it again for a month. So basically, it won't keep showing up every time they visit. They, you know, it's got to be a, a scarcity tactic, can't it? You can't just keep turning up and getting a, a discount. Otherwise, everybody just wait for one. Save it. Uh, this feature auto injects coupons at Shopify checkout. So your users do not have to type the coupon code. All right, so that's cool. So you could you could make it automatically add to the cart. Show wheel it only on on site URLs. So that's cool. Recover abandoned carts. Manage message subscriptions. Uh, built-in messenger enable messenger wheel or pop-up subscribers, customers to your recart messenger list. Or after all, I don't really know what that means. And then some other funky funky um ways of collecting so you have to set this up right uh, did it does it so i would have to set up mailchimp or aweber or active campaign to remember those emails 
collected emails. So here's the ones that have already worked, test at the bottom. So you either sync it with your MailChimp or whatever your newsletter program is, or you uh, you can just do it manually down the bottom here, right? So let's have a look at where we're at now. So off to the side here now, I've got this look, discounts. So uh, coupon two, I obviously didn't change coupon name two, so. Uh, as to uh, free call that's quite good it landed on <laughs> the upstage is upside down look. so take it so this should should go to an email yeah so really i would go to a scheduling software if i was going to do free call i would do um i would link it to a, a schedule in place so Let's try and get it to see if we can get it to work and take it off the cart. So now it's not going to show for 30 days on my um, on my browser. Obviously, every time I do preview, it 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 resets the cookie. Yeah, so now it's showing again, right? So if I go back down to this hat, as I go to leave, uh, come on. Yeah, maybe it's already it's already worked me out. So let me go to a different browser and go to my shop. So it's always with cookies. It's always funky that you have to reset cookies. I don't want to do it on my main because it remembers passwords and stuff. So there's the discount on the side. There's it. There it is again now. If I go to leave, up pops the box. I'll put in test three. Uh, Try your luck. So I'm hoping for a coupon. Coupon name two is probably 20% off. Oh no, I didn't fill it out, did I? Sod's law. Uh, reject. Let's try again. Clear history. So if you want a discount every time on one of these websites, just keep clearing your cache and you'll get another pop at it. There you go, look. If I come to leave, here comes the wheel. Test four. In fact, if, if I put in test two, I think it may say you've already tried with that email. Oh no, maybe not. I think it does though, um, when it tracks it. So here we go, 10% off. So you always win, 10% off, continue and use discount, copy to clipboard, add to cart, All the orders processed in. Uh, so I should have put some in my cart before I did that, shouldn't I? So let's clear the history again and do it, and let's see if it works. I'm interested to see if it does automatically apply that. Is that? It, obviously, if there's nothing in the cart, it can't apply it to anything. Here we go. So test two. Try your luck. Oh, I didn't want that one. Free training. Take it. Reduce. Clear history. Come on. Here it comes. Yeah, right. So, test two. It really should say, I think, you've already tried that email, but free call, of course. <laughs> Clear history. Close product. Okay, get rid. Little pillow. Come on, baby. So I'm really looking for the 50% off or the 20% off. Oh man. Okay, let's let's just make sure it happens this time. Uh apps. Go to Wheelio. Come on. Where are you? Oh, it's coming slow. There's some my internet's a bit slow today. So I'm gonna make the I'm gonna make 
the oh it's not uh did i change it that's probably that's probably why 50 off this was 20 percent off 20 uh, off right i don't want the free call to happen and 100 percent off can work 20 off free product i don't want this to happen this time either right so you can see that i've made that these are the ones that are going to work 33% of the time, and this two now will never work, right? So if I go back to here, I think you're getting the drift. I just All I want to do is see that, um, oh yeah, every time I clear the, uh, every time I clear the cache, I also clear the cart on it. So if I clear the history and refresh that page, So the cart empties as well, so it wouldn't have worked. Uh, it wouldn't have been a good idea anyway. So if I go and put a hat in the cart, you're probably all slagging me off on YouTube now because I should have uh, been more organized. Hat in the cart. Now I'm going to go for a discount. Test to at paulnicholson.com. Now there is, it has to give me a percentage on how I've set it up. Here comes 10% off. Now I want it to continue and use discount. I want it to automatically apply to the checkout, right? That's what it said it did. And it did look, it jumped straight in there and put 10% off, took five off. So it's a really cool way of doing it. I think, you know, you get the drift that it's easy. It's going to cost you $15 a month, but if you're a busy active store, um then you're gonna want you're gonna want these spinned emails you know conversion rate 82 percent you're gonna want something that just gets people to buy something on your website or gets them to the next level or just sticks them around a bit um and you know it's it's i think it's a cool it's a cool tool i remember going to buyzip.com and just before i left it popped up and I hardly ever type my email address into into sort of news lead or lead magnet things and that one just got me to do it and it intrigued me of, of how easy it was to work uh, and how, how easy it was to that to to get to get me to do something by offering me a discount you know and it look it says here you've got 14 minutes and 50 seconds to use your coupon so you're then thinking, well, what else can I buy? If I'm going to get 10% off this one time because it feels like that roulette wheel is only going to show once. I'm going to add more to my cart. Proceed to checkout. Uh, and paste in. Unable to find a, a valid discount match in the code. Okay, so we have to work out why that didn't work why i didn't like it straight away but so that's funky but i get i think you're getting what i'm what i'm saying it's easy to set up it's easy to let it go it's going to give you a discount so obviously make sure you've got mark up enough i don't really mark my t-shirts it up enough i on my training courses i sell the course on teachable platform so they buy it somewhere else so i wouldn't be able to um well i would i guess it after i'd say you, the copy yeah it would because if you go here then add a coupon i could make i could make the voucher in the other program the same uh i actually thought that the voucher itself was an automated voucher where it it, it got it brought up a, a unique number didn't mean i had to set the the, uh, the voucher number otherwise you could just use it all the time um so it's a little bit funky, a little bit ironing out, but you want to look into whether that $15 a month is going to be worth you adding it to your store just to get more people to the checkout page. You know, everybody loves a discount. Everybody loves a little bit of money off. Uh, and when it's a bit of fun, when it's a bit of fun as to you think you've got a chance of winning 100% off, then 
then people are likely to to have a stab at it, aren't they? You know, if they see one of these, like you're going to want to make one of these, like this one that's twenty percent off. I should really have made that one the hundred percent off. This one twenty, this one fifty, uh, just because it's showing then into it. Then you go, oh geez, I could get this for free, even though you're going to say it's never going to come out, which is you know. That's how business works, though, isn't it? Hope this helps. I know it's a bit scatty. Uh, if you've got any questions, let me know, and I will certainly try to help out and uh, get you up and running with your own wheelio wheel. It's all cool stuff. Cheers, guys.